Hi, so I'm Phoenix, and I am so excited to introduce this project to you. I choose you as so near and dear to my heart. And when I say near and dear to my heart, that is exactly what I mean. I wanted a love song for the Lord, and I choose you is my love song for the Lord. I choose you, Lord. I choose you over everything. I, I choose you. I thank you for choosing me, and I choose you. And I wanted the song to sound like love. I want it to sound like I love the Lord because I do. And so that was the concept and that's where I came, that's where it started for me. And I, I one morning I was listening to um, some music um, and I heard something that just kind of inspired me and made me start thinking about choosing the Lord. I've decided to follow Jesus. My pastor, Thomas Anthony Barclay Sr. is, known for his altar calls and how he will tell you, I've decided to follow Jesus. And even in his altar calls, sometimes he just is weeping for the people who have not chosen God. And he is telling you, come on, this is your day. This is your day. And so I'm so honored even to have him as a part of this recording. You hear him giving the altar call at the end. Um, Fathers and sons, let me talk about that for a minute. I have uh, Gerald Floyd, Dr. Gerald Floyd at the very beginning, a very dear friend of mine, my comrade, my supporter, um, a person that pushed me beyond the limits of what I thought I could achieve and has just always been there for me. I'm so grateful for him. And so Dr. Gerald Floyd is actually the father of JP Floyd. And so it was nice to be able to have them in a collaborative moment in the studio. And I had uh, Dr. Floyd come in and he is a great narrator, a great orator. He um, has been a part of the educational system with his three doctorates. It's so amazing to know that about him. And I know that he would definitely not want me to talk about that, but it's true. <laughs> but anyway, he he's absolutely an awesome guy. And he does this beginning, um, and it comes from this um, black exploitation movie where um, the guy is saying to the woman, "Hey, look, I can be everything you want, baby." Well, that's what God can be for us—everything we want. And I love the way he embodies that moment when he starts talking about how God can be. So I'll let you listen to that. I won't give the quote of what he's saying, but. Um, then we have this Choose campaign. And in the Choose campaign, we are actually, it's a call to action. We want people to remember. Do you remember the day that you chose the Lord? Do you remember the day of the week? We used to sing a song when we were kids. Well, you know, it was at the church where I went to and they would say, on a Sunday, on a Sunday, I got rid of my heavy load. All the people on Sunday that got saved on a Sunday would stand up. Then they go on a Monday, go through all the days of the week. By the end of the, you know, the end of the song, we're at Saturday and everybody basically is up. Now, the people that were not up, of course, we were encouraging them to join the body of believers, the people who had made the choice. And so I want you to think about what day did you choose? or even what month, what season? Or if you can't remember those things, how about the year? How long has it been? How long has this thing been going on between you and the Lord? And so that's the campaign. And so you see us with our, our choose uh, wristbands and I'm putting mine on right now for you. And you wear these. And so there's, it's twofold. First of all, you're making the statement, yes, I choose, but you're also, giving people an opportunity to say, what is that? What do you have? Why do you have that on your, on, on your, on your wrist? Why are you wearing that? And then you can say, well, um, there's this singer named Phoenix and um, this band, the Dakari Barclay uh, band. And they did this song called, I Choose You. And it's about choosing the Lord. And um, I wanna share this. Um, when did, did you choose the Lord yet? And if they say yes, then, Tell each other your stories. We need to get that in the atmosphere, in the environment. We need to have more moments where we talk about our choices, 
and where we share our testimonies. It shouldn't just have to happen at a testimony service or on a Sunday morning or in a sidebar or if we have a special place that we go. It should be happening everywhere. We want to saturate the environment. And this is that season. We're talking about Jesus and how he was born. And, and, and this is the Christmas season and we're celebrating Christ. So let's celebrate for real. Let's spend more time talking about Christ than we do talking about gifts, than we do talking about events that we're going to go to, or things that we're going to do, or food that we're going to eat. Hello, somebody. <laughs> All I'm saying is that let's talk about our choice, and let's share that, and let's encourage others, and let's have an altar call moment with the people who have not made the choice. So, you know, during the pandemic, um, and we're still you know, we're not done, but we're, you know, coming, it's been a while, so we're getting adjusted and we're adjusting again and we're adjusting again. But during those first six months or so, it is my firm belief that many people started getting closer to God. People started praying because it was scary. The atmosphere was just uh, just kind of heavy and we, we didn't know what was gonna happen and we didn't know if it was gonna happen to us or our family members or our friends or should we go or shouldn't we go in? So people started making a choice, right? Um, and, and, and I believe, you know, as they say, there are no atheists in foxholes. I believe that there's a group of people that made the choice during the pandemic they chose, but they don't necessarily have their church home or have their place or space where they're actually growing. And so this Choose campaign is also an opportunity for them or for you to kind of connect on a deeper level with your process of your choice. And so I want to say to you, we're going to we're, we have all kinds of ways we're doing this. We're asking you to share the digital download and, and share the information about the, the Choose campaign. We want you to get your wristbands. We want you to wear them. We will have t-shirts because I know some people just like t-shirts. We want you to, to share your stories about when you chose. We want to talk about that process. And we want to share that information. We don't want to leave anyone out. There's something for everyone. Uh, people on TikTok, we want you to sing or share your story about you know, uh, what year, what day, what month, what season, um, and, and maybe even sing a line from, I choose you, Lord. So anyway, that, that, that's just kind of where we're coming from with this. Now, I want to go back to the father and son story. I bet you thought I was done. So. We also have another father and son team that is on this recording and I'm honored to say, you heard me talk about my pastor, um, but did you hear me say that the band that is featured is the Dakari Barclay band? Yes, so Dakari Barclay and my pastor, Thomas Anthony Barclay Sr. are father and son too. Yeah, so it was nice to have that 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 moment where these father and son people got together and, and supported me with this vision. And then we had this amazing lineup of musicians. We had we had Leonard, oh my goodness, who gives this saxophone is so romantic and so loving. And oh, I just feel it when he when he plays it every time, gets me every time. I love it. And just that that driving groove that I get from, from Josh. Ross as he's just kind of grooving us in and he just kind of keeps us there. He, and he and, and Steve and Mance kind of lock in and they get in that pocket. And I'm telling you, it just sounds, I, I love the way these things come together. And then we have uh, Elio Wayaya just kind of kind of doing the, giving us the groove and also giving us those little accents and you can just hear. And so there was love in the room. You know, I, I'm so blessed that this these, this group of young kings came in the room and they just gave me all this love and support. And, and, and I, I'm so grateful. And talking about love, um, also have to mention the studio, On Track Studio. Ray, I've been knowing him for many, 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 many years. And so uh, Ray uh, Vanda and his wife. Uh, so it's a family affair and it's a love thing. And then I have this praise dancer. And I am so grateful that I was able to uh, 
talk her into it. She does a lot. She's a she's a radio disc jockey on WBON. She's on every Saturday at 6 p.m. Except for when her job kind of says she can't. And so when we talk about her job, I'll let her share as much as she wants. She is also um, CEO and founder of a um, nonprofit organization called To Brighter Days, which has been in existence for close to 20 years, I do believe now. And it's been doing great work under the radar, but that's about to change. So you'll be hearing more about that. And she's also my sister, Juliette Scott. And I am so grateful for her support throughout this process. And she does this amazing dance. And so we're gonna have all these different little special links that you get when you become a donor. And we're asking you uh, to, come you know to buy into this to support this process because we actually have a story book video storyline video that we want to do that we're going to do and we know with god's help and with your support that we will be able to achieve this in the very near future and i want you to be there for it as a special guest so i want to get that information to you as you sign up as you become a part of this then yes you will get the information that being said, and I said an awful lot, but I really wanted you to know what I Choose You was all about. It's really near and dear to my heart, and I'm very grateful and excited to share it with you today. Thank you for being here. So happy. I choose you. Yes. And we're going to hear from Juliet Scott, and she's going to share some information in a moment or two. <laughs> 